so Larry, when you first stepped on the NIH campus as the director of NIDCR, what was your thought? What were you thinking about doing? How, you know, began by the insertion of craniofacial in the name of the institute and coming from a medical center where I was privileged to serve as the research dean, I was more accustomed to having biomedical research be integrated and where there were really no distinctions made between medicine and dentistry and nursing. And what struck me about NIH, at least the NIH that I saw when I arrived in 2000, was the head wasn't really connected to the body. And so while Hal had, had, had started the process in, in a very significant way by getting the name changed, because that's, by the way, that does take an act of Congress. In case any of you are wondering, it re literally requires an act of Congress. In fact, when I was interviewed for the job by the late Ruth Kirstein, she asked me what I thought about it, and we had a little discussion about that, and then she said, okay, but you can't change it back. And so, <laughs> be, because it, because it, and you know, she wagged her, you know, her finger. Um, so what I, what my vision was to try and integrate NIDCR into everything that was going on at NIH. And, you know, Hal had begun some important things, and, and I was able to build upon those. Um, things like salivary diagnostics, for example. Uh, things like the health disparity centers, um, which, by the way, we funded before the then National um, Center for Minority Health. We, we came first. They followed our lead. And we served as a prototype, really, for similar efforts across NIH. Um, and so, that, that was really my goal, was, was to integrate everything that we were doing with the rest of, of NIH, and, and um, with, with, with some success, but with no doubt I handed off some challenges to, 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 to Martha. Yeah. So along the same line, what would you consider to be your, your greatest accomplishment? Well, it wasn't my accomplishment, okay? It was the accomplishment of the amazing people who were working with me. Um, so, for, and I'm just, I'm just looking out over the audience to remind myself of some of the things. Okay, so rescuing hypofunction using aquaporin, because uh, I see Jay over there, okay? What an astounding step forward. Begun with really fundamental wonky basic science, Jay, you know, figuring out what adenovirus sticks to, but, you know, and then, you know, an amazing thing emerges. Um, the, um, the, the, the face space, um, you want big data? We got big data. And when I, when I arrived to the session, I was, I was given a little snippet of how large it's grown um, under, under Martha and now Rena's leadership. So that's wonderful. Um, I would say um, the practice-based research networks. I felt it was really important to connect with organized dentistry and to connect with schools of dentistry, which was a surprise to many people because here I am, this biochemist who happened to have a dental degree and, and a school that probably wouldn't acknowledge that I even had that dental degree. <laughs> It's a long story. I'm not, I'm not going to. Um, so, but the practice-based research networks, you know, were, were, were really, really important. And, and I didn't do any of that. I was just a cheerleader. It was, it was just the amazing, you know, groups of people that we had. And Isabel, who's here, and, and Dushanka, um, you know, who served as deputies during my tenure. I, I mean, they were really the driving force behind all of this stuff. So thank you, Isabel. And, Thank you to, 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 to Dushanka. So we heard from Hal about his Walter Cronkite moment. <laughs> so what was your most memorable experience? You know, it's, again, it's going to sound a little strange, but, and, and it was something that Dushanka and Isabel did. I mean, I just said, sure, let's do that. It was getting Medicare to reimburse pediatricians to apply fluoride varnish. Right? 
Now, if you ever understand, and Isabel would have to say this, how long it took to explain to a biochemist why that was important. <laughs> but that to me was the most significant thing that was accomplished during the time period that I was privileged to be director. Well, well thank you very much. And boy, we've appreciated all of the efforts for sure.